delivery there from a bike. Um, obviously these putting together, but with my expertise, um, it should take until about midnight. So. <laughs> well, well, anyhow, what's going on today? Yeah, obviously we're here in the wonderful country of Thailand. We're gonna go in a couple of days, we're gonna head off to, uh, to Phuket. And I guarantee you that no, uh, Ducky Cuts in the old town of Phuket is one of the best barbers in the whole of Thailand. They're really good, so we're going to pay a trip there. It's something which has intrigued me for many, many years. And it's, uh, it's why or how that Thailand can produce wine. One of, the, one of life's wonderful mysteries. Why the, how does Thailand make wine? I mean, they're out here in the tropics. They've got bananas and mangoes and, and all the rest of it growing and they've got grapes. There is a, a vineyard in Hua Hin by the name of Monsoon Valley. And we're going to visit Monsoon's, Monsoon Valley and we will participate in some of the activities out there. We're going to be eating some food and we're going to be drinking some, some Thai wine. quite early in the morning the sun's rising in the sky it's getting quite hot it's well it's only eight o'clock let's not exaggerate we are waiting for the taxi waiting for the grab and he's going to take us to the airport it takes about five minutes to get there we're literally on the doorstep of the airport and then we're going to get the yeah the tiny little aeroplane with the little propellers going around like that and it will drop us off in in Phuket in about an hour's time so let's follow that story there you go look at that tiny little airplane there <laughs> little steps at the back you have to climb up you know it's comical really but i love it you know obviously they're not the fastest machines so it does take like an hour or so to get to Phuket but um happy days sir Yeah, I've just been dropped off um, a little dingy bus, little dingy blue bus, right in the middle of fucking Old Town. Uh, but I'm still trying to get my bearings exactly whereabouts I am in uh, Phuket Old Town. Um, I don't think I'm far away from Duncan Cuts. 
uh, walking around uh, the old town of Pokia, I, I suddenly feel very kind of familiar. Um, I, I feel very much of kind of this is my kind of place, you know. Reminds me very, it reminds me very much of like the Northern Quarter in Manchester. Reminds me of uh, Camp Camden Town in London. Reminds me of you know all those. All those kind of hipster places, which, you know, it's these wonderful houses that do it. These these houses were uh, they were built for the Portuguese Chinese community that were working in the in the tin mines like 150 years ago or something, and they're still standing today. Buildings, houses, architecture, whatever you want to call it. You know, this is this is proper old town. You know, it's in a, it's in a league of its own. So it's in a class of its own. Yeah, I think we found it, um, but there's a very uh, dubious looking sign hanging over the door there. There's now a cannabis leaf hanging over the front door. Let's go and check it out. Big queue here. Run all four. Probably the cannabis. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. So, say goodbye to my camera. Huh? Bye. <laughs> See you next time. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. What a man. What a man, what a ledge. So there we are, that was Ducky, Ducky Cuts in the, the middle of uh, Pukit Old Town. Absolutely fantastic. Really pleased with that, really pleased. What an amazing haircut that. bike which isn't a mountain bike this is what they call a trekking bike and it's something I'm not really used to but this thing as a touring bike or a trekking bike has only got nine gears and they are the lower gears here I really like it um, as long as I'm not doing mountains and I'm not what I want to do now I want to show you my route my route that I do with Arthur early in the morning or late in the evening, or late in the afternoon. If it's early in the morning, I get the chance to visit the market, which is just on the corner up there. We'll go and take a look at that. And if it's in the evening time, we we'll go and grab some food. And that's always good fun. We'll take a look. Yeah, here we are. We've we've reached the uh, the bike track, and I'm going to pan around and show you this bike track in a minute. So before I do that. Just want to explain that everyone's got their running shoes on, biking shoes on, and the rest of it. And that's the way we're going, right up there. Yes, say hello. Hello. Thank can, you. Can I go in? What? Yeah, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not Hollywood. You know, people always ask me the same question, why, why Hatiai? You know, of all the glamorous places, you know, the same old question is, you know, why do you like Hatiai? What is it about Hatiai? And it's, it's number one is the people. They are so friendly. You, you, you're never, never alienated in this place, really. So friendly. And if you can connect with the people, as we are doing now with, on the bike, going up the bike track there, you can see behind me there, wonderful bike track. Um, you're only doing it to your advantage, you know. Um, there's like a sign here. A sign I wanted to show you. As you can see there, let's get a bit closer. This is actually visually the Hatiai bike route. Bike to make a difference. 
Well deserved. As you can see, we get some free entertainment also every night. We get the Hattiai Aerobic Society dancing around the thingy there. I love it. Has the sun gone down yet? Well, just been biking, obviously, the sun's gone down. It's time to get some food, so I'm going to show you now my, my favourite little pub. My favourite little pub grub and it's literally like two minutes away from the house there. The entrance to the house is just after the 7-Eleven. It's um, it's 50 baht for the for the menu. Well, you, there's a choice of six or seven menus and that's including soup and that's including water. You can have as much soup as you want, as much water as you want and all that is going to cost you 50 baht which is in today's prices that's one pound ten. Yeah, the final question. Do you want a fried egg on it? What a stupid question. Do I want a fried egg on my pack of bell? Come on. <laughs> Let's go and get something to eat. Like a soup of the day, which is usually like a, a bouillon with some kind of herbs inside it, depending on whatever they've got in the kitchen in the morning. Um, it's the perfect appetizer, especially after being on the bike there for an hour or so. Mm. That's good. Just what I need. Just what I need. Let's go and get some water. There we go. You've got the, the, the pork, mince, the rice, and of course the fried egg on top. And there's always three slices of cucumber there. Always, that's standard time. If you remember, actually, we wanted to know, um, Thailand, do they make wine? Yes, they do. They make very good wine. Excellent wine, actually. Award-winning wine. Remember many years ago when the, the wines of the New World came out and everybody was talking about the New World, which was like Chile, Argentina, South Africa, and all the rest of it. Um, we do now, we have a new genre and it's called New, Lat new Latitude and the wines in Thailand, uh, they're under the, um, the New Latitude style of wines which are being made, you know, in, the, in these conditions, in these challenging conditions. So, what we did, we took a flight a thousand kilometers up to Bangkok and then we jumped on a bus and we went south again, um, another four hours on a, on a dingy little bus. And then we went with the, with the shuttle buses up to the mountainous area, about um, about an hour's drive into the into the mountain, and we visited the vineyard of Monsoon Valley. And this is the video. Enjoy. See you later. I'm eating. going down and uh, we've just spent about four hours on the bus from uh, Bangkok airport and um, we've been dumped unceremoniously in the middle of a bus station somewhere um, in Hua Hin and it's the beginning of the, the latest adventure that we're going to do is the grape harvest um, the only problem is now is trying to get a grab a taxi into town Start out to the, the adventure. 
adventure in Monsoon Valley Vineyards on a motorway. Here we go, Monsoon Valley. The whole idea is to, to head to the Monsoon Valley Wine Bar. There seems to be a technical issue today that in Thailand it's what they call Maka Kata, which is a, a Buddhist, it, I think it's probably one of the most important uh, Buddhist holidays, or holidays important Buddhist uh, days of the year. And I know we've been told everywhere in the hotel, we've been told that um, there is no sale of alcohol today in, in the whole country. There is no sales of alcohol. And we're going on a wine tour today. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. No, it wasn't me. So we've just had like an hour in the, in the shuttle bus and we're arriving now in Monsoon Valley. It looks like heavy security. <laughs> we've got the police or the army. So there's a police officer that seems to be turning everyone away. Stating that it's closed. Oh, the barrier's going up. So here we are. This is Monsoon Valley Vineyards. Look at this beautiful spot, really. Let's take a look around, huh? Bit of elephant meat and greet in the vineyard. There you go. Ah. Really? Yeah. For me? Complimentary, yes. Wow, I'm so pleased. Can I have it? Have you got extra large? Extra large. Oh, no, two times extra large, please. Two times. Okay, hi. Just tie, hi. tie size. Got a free t shirt. A Monsoon Valley t shirt. Wow, look at that. And they've even got a late harvest. What oh, is a late harvest? Oh, some champagne. It's all sparkling wine. Blended rose, look at that. Some white shiraz, shiraz. Yeah, that was like a little aperitif there, a little drink. Uh, non alcoholic, <laughs> but the grey juice is very nice. And I think we're going for a little trip now. Yeah, so I've missed the bus, quite literally. Um, but I've been told there's a jeep arriving for me, a private jeep. It's going oh, look at that. Yeah, there's there's a there's a map here of the of the vineyard of the, which grapes are being grown on the vineyard we can take a look at that yeah, and Colomban and Sangiovese even and Shira and those things And she's dropped us off at uh, the farmer's house where I think we're gonna eat. Looks like food, drink, and music. So let's take it from there, huh? <laughs> let's go grape stamping. So 
This is me making my. Can I go in? Yeah. yeah? Do you want to come with me? Yeah. Come on, let's go together. Yeah, all done. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> okay, stamp away, huh? <laughs> Can I make my own wine? Not me. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at Ian stomping. I'm a very romantic person, yeah. you know. <laughs> let's take a look. Let's take a look at Ian stamping grapes. How many of you? I'm I'm alone at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So here is the wine blending activity. We have three different of red wine for you here. Yeah. First, you have to taste them, how they taste to know. Right? Yeah. After that, you can blend in the two to create the new taste. My own wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and. So this is number one. I'm going to create my own wine now. So number one. Yeah. Well, that was the Shiraz. Yeah. Second one is Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, the evening's kicking in slowly now and we've, we've all been allocated our seats and people are slowly taking the tables now. So, the food should be arriving. We'll take a look at that later. You are all I long for all I want you to Until the next time, until the next vid, um, see you later guys.